Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Druidic, and we're doing PvP. Although this is not my usual format, um, uh, it is still PvP in the strictest sense, and I'm just reusing some scraps that were not good enough uh, on their own to form a video, so I just put them all together into one joyous video uh, being to be released sometime during the holidays. So if you're seeing this, Merry Christmas, or if you're not celebrating, Happy Holidays anyway, because why shouldn't you be happy in this kind of time of winter? So, as uh, I said, there are going to be some uh, excerpts from games, some arena games, um, just m cuddle up together right here, and this particular game is about the sort that I just easily 1v1, well not, not not quite easily, but I do kill him after a nice bobble, and uh, yeah, similar situations and uh, arena games will come up. So this arena game, we have a normal game, uh, nothing special right there, four damage dealers versus a healer, two tanks and one damage dealer, so quite an easy game for us, but still I try to do my best to not give them any chance, so I immediately burst the first guy before he can do anything, and as that guy is using all of his cooldowns to Merc, I'm just bursting this operative right here, Now he should go in this any moment because that damage is just insane, uh, raining on into him, so he should die if he does not go in this, there, that's where he goes in this, as he should do, and uh, when he reappears I should easily kill him. So, the other mercenary tries to get something going, but he does not know that you do not play Arsenal. Arsenal is not a good spec anymore. I mean, it is okay, but it does not deal the sufficient amount of bursts, so stop playing Arsenal. I know it's fun, but it's not good. So, again, starting off finding them from Invis, finding the sniper. Try to burst him first right now. And uh, while some cooldowns are onto me and the guard is onto me and also I'm getting healed, um, this guy uses all of its offensive cooldowns, so I just immediately switch up targets, try to get his cooldowns out right now, as I do not want him to uh, sufficiently uh, be able to do some damage, so you know, just stunning him uh, and, you know, bursting him kind of like there, so that he uses his cooldowns, hopefully, but as I switch my... Um, my attention to that guy, he uses all of his cooldowns, and that first guy, the sniper, he's, he's back again. So I just can kill him right now, just immediately finish him off. Now the second guy comes into him, he has got no cooldowns left because he used them all, so he is easily finished right now with a nice death from above. And the third guy, unfor unfortunately, still has got cooldowns because I did not burst him enough, and also he kept a cool head and did not blow any unnecessary cooldowns, so kudos to you right there that he still had some, but nonetheless, n it's of no good, because, you know, that uh, that operative tried off-healing right there. Doesn't work. Doesn't really work if you if you're desperate for some damage. So again, that guy got killed and, you know, nice uh, mega shot. Oh no, it was the end that killed him right there. Resulting in me getting all four killing blows. So, you know, but, you know, it's too expected because it was, I was the only damage dealer right there. So not too impressive. Yeah, going into this one, um, we have Ranked Arena. Uh, they, for some odd and weird reason, have got a tank and we do not, um, but you know, just try to do my best uh, out of that situation here. So as the assassin opens onto us um, and uses all of his crew so he does not get uh, focused, uh, I just immediately go back here because we have um, a, a plan, plan to burst that sork, you know, just get the net going, get my nice burst, but unfortunately the other guy gets kicked down as he gets completely healed up. Uh, would have been death right there if um, uh, if that guy wouldn't have been kicked down, that was about 9%, so that was kind of the minimum amount of damage that he should have been able to do to uh, absolutely kill him. And I believe in round 2 that we actually um, are, are able to do this, and I just do kind of split damage right, in, right now as I'm getting kicked down. Now, you know, the initial target was again the Sork. So going on to the Sork, nice uh, Thermal Detonator is onto him as he gets pulled up very defensively. Very nice play actually of the... Um, of the enemy team right here, because, you know, it is a solo ranked, so, you know, they are not actually coordinated, but they are playing um, quite well and quite coordinated for that, so that is kind of nice, what they are doing right there, as I'm getting stunned and onto bursting the healer right now. So, you know, again, switching targets, uh, going onto the assassin right now, he again has his, um, his force cloak and is resisting all of my 
futile attempts of dealing some amount of damage but I am able to do so right now as I kick him around now the um, uh, the Sork got finished uh, somewhere else, which I did not see, as I'm just completely and furiously dealing damage to everyone in range, and this worked out quite nicely. I mean, it wasn't wasn't the uh, the best execution of them either, but it was. Uh, I mean, it was quite okay uh, in, in the general game sense. So you know, as I'm as I'm bursting uh, the healer, the tank dies incidentally because he couldn't get healed anymore, and the last surviving guy is the assassin who tries to you know get something going but nice mag shot to the face says otherwise so in round two we now try to be more coordinated about bursting that thork you know um, the general idea is putting the thermal detonator onto him um, then the assassin stuns and I net him and through doing so he will be unable to use his bubble the only thing he could do is use his thumb breaker but uh, he does not use it in time so this is kind of what we are kind of hoping on you know it's always banking on the um, mistakes of the enemies but it works out quite nicely so as you can see thermal detonator going into right now as I'm putting on my um, my things and cooldowns and he gets completely global and murdered and this is just uh, the end of it no, he could not use anything against that, and this is a, a clear win because you know one of their damage dealers died before anything could happen. So you know, what else is there left? You know, one damage dealer alone is not going to kill our healer, and thusly we should win this uh, round uh, shortly after. Unfortunately, it's not shortly after. This game draws on for quite a bit, but this is due to the lack of coordination from our side right there. So you can really say that uh, their spine was broken by that one one uh, sork that did not know how to break the stun happens quite often unfortunately in uh, in in ranked arena that there's like one guy who does not know how to use his defensive cooldowns and just dies um yeah I, I think even with another um player we would have still won this but uh you know, it's always nice to have this kind of safe win especially in solo rank because you know it's about rating isn't it and, uh, well, it's not now, it's preseason, but, you know. Now, that guy, <laughs> he tried to uh, defensively go behind that pillar, but I was already there. Knew where I was, and the nice mag shot critted him for 9.7k anyway. So, with both damage dealers down, this is a clear win, and now we are just uh, kind of embarrassed at ourselves that it takes so long to kill one tank and one healer. But that's just the way it is sometimes, so we just uh, completely focus on... Uh, yeah, no, killing them right now, just doing a nice amount of damage. Now he intelligently uh, stood right next to me so I would get blinded and I could not fit continue to burst him. Also, my uh, energy management is terrible and I, um, it's not energy, it's, it's heat. And my heat management was terrible this game so I could not actually burst in this kind of situation where this burst would have been very much needed. So as this game kind of draws on and on and on and on, and you know the win is actually clear, a nice thermal detonator actually kills him. So, good, good thing for us there. Game ends as it, as it should have done a lot earlier. A uh, nice damage as you can see at the end of the game, but kind of cheating uh, because you know this game was a lot longer than it should have been. Um, as you can see, it's all from the same evening, so you know the same same sort from uh, last time. Uh, we're kind of trying to get into here. Maybe burst somebody as I am finding my target. Now I'm, I'm, I'm on to um, him. You know, just uh, kind of to see that guy as he tries to do some good amount of damage to me. As I am getting completely um, attacked right here, but I'm using my defensive cooldowns right now, and they continue to attack me, which is bad. You should never do that. If somebody pops a defensive cooldown, just leave him be. And uh, yeah, as I'm getting inverse, I just completely find him right here, and I do not uh, relent from him. Just continue my onslaught onto the uh, mercenary, and he should die shortly after because he does not use his cooldown. Oh, I, I think he, yeah, he did use his cooldown, so he did survive. But now it is ouch time. It is the time against that assassin. That assassin, he was a thorn in my eye for the longest time. I don't know if he actually said that in English. Uh, you know, it's kind of an expression. I don't know if you say Dawn in my eye. It doesn't matter. But he was kind of annoying. Uh, that's why what this expression means. It was kind of annoying. And uh, and uh, just used his uh, teleport to get out of here. So, it's again, it's a very long game. 
um, going into here. The other guy already died, but it, uh, I wasn't part of that. Uh, he died behind some routes. And you know, as that guy is kind of uh, cutting, pillow cutting me, he does not he does not heal himself because you know the thing is, pillow cutting it's nice and all, but you're not getting the same uh, the same amount of healing if you pillow cut. So I'm, I was more uh, more than happy to get pillow cutted right there because it did not actually benefit him because he didn't heal himself while doing so. So he just easily died right there, and we just cleaned that game up. So, lastly coming up, you will see a uh, a game where I rage in German. Uh, it was not planned in any way. I just kind of started to rage as I was in team speak with my guild. So, enjoy. I'm going to put subtitles underneath this. Have a good one, and uh, you know, enjoy. God, Juggernauts are so dumb. Die sind so dumm und die haben 5000 Heiler im Rücken. 3.0 Ich kann meine Klasse nicht spielen, springe an, bin immun und mach 3 Millionen Damage. 3.0 Fickt euch doch einfach. Ich komme aus dem Stunlock nicht raus und werde hinterher gekickt. Boom. Wirklich. Sinnlos. <lacht> 